Hey guys, welcome back to L&D Home. Today, I have a question for you. Have you ever been in a store or shopping online and you saw one of those beautiful textured vases and you thought to yourself, oh yeah, that bad boy, coming home with me. And then you saw the price and thought, can't do it. Me too. I love a good textured vase, but my wallet can simply not afford those prices. So in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to get that look or less. You can use a vessel or an item you already have in your home, or you can thrift something from a thrift store or garage sale, and you can texturize it yourself. You can turn that inexpensive piece into something beautiful, and you get to keep money in your pocket. So let's do it. Let's jump on in. To demonstrate this technique, I'm going to be using a vase I already have, and I had previously spray painted it black, which is great because that's the color I still want it to be. I just really love the roundness and all of the interesting detail on this vase. So that's what I'm going to be using, but any vase you have will work. You're going to need a cup to mix in, some kind of mixing utensil. I'm using a foam brush here. You're also going to need some baking soda. You can use baking powder. It just kind of suds up a little bit more. And then you need the paint of your choice. I am using chalk paint. You want to pour some of your paint into your cup and you're going to notice mine is very thick and very gloopy, but I have a solution for that that I will tell you about in just a few moments. You can use as much paint as you want. I was just being kind of skeet with my paint because, well, uh, I only have a tiny jar. You're then going to pour in baking soda. The more baking soda you pour in, the more textured your mixture is going to be. So if you want a little bit of texture, just use a little. If you want a lot of texture like I did, use quite a bit. To make sure that your paint is thin enough, if it's too gloopy, you can add a drop or two of water. I only did two sprays. If you add too much water, it's gonna make it runny and it might not turn out the way you want, but water will help thin out that thick chalk paint. I'm just going to be dabbing to get that texture that I want, and that's why I chose this foam brush because it gives a lot of texture. I'm not swiping on the paint mixture here, I am dabbing. If you do not want a lot of texture and you just want a little bit, I recommend using a paintbrush instead and just painting it like normal, using swiping motions. But if you want a lot of texture, I suggest a foam brush or a sponge and really dabbing. Make sure you get in all those nooks and crannies because you don't want flat spots um, in like the little crevices because then it will not look natural. Here is how my vase looked after just one coat. I am gonna do a second coat because I want even more texture than this, but I'm not gonna bore you with that second coat. So let's jump over and see what it looks like drying after the second coat. Here you can see how much texture I have. I think it's absolutely wonderful. Again, if you don't want a lot of texture, just use a little bit of that baking soda or a paintbrush. And make sure if you're doing a vase or a vessel that has a thin top that you're really getting inside of there because you don't want that part to look flat. You want it to look textured as well. One of my tips to make sure that your vessel lasts a long time is to do a clear coat. That will help all those flaky bits really stay on. I chose a matte clear coat because I do not want a shiny look. I want this to look like concrete, an actual like textured vessel that was created by somebody, not by me. So a matte clear coat will help you do that. Give it a nice, good spray and let it fully dry. And here you go. Finished product, you are ready to go. You can do this on any size or shape of vessel, any material you want, as many coats as you want. It's going to be great and it's not going to cost you $40. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please check out the video and the playlist up above. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We love you guys and you are awesome sauce.